Bro, this thing came off like a ninja star. Be careful. Hey guys, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. Today's video, we got a couple jobs going down. But the first one is the 2016 Ford Escape. We're gonna do the front and back brakes and rotors. We'll jump on to the next job. So stay tuned. All right, in today's video, we got two different vehicles. They both need brakes and rotors. We caught it in time and all they needed was brakes and rotors. This vehicle right here, it went a little too long. So the brake pads wore down way too much, which ended up destroying the rotor which we knew, but also destroying the calibers. The pistons are actually frozen. I'll back to this vehicle. Be very careful with this thing. It came off like a ninja star. Look, slow motion. Nailed me. So be careful. All right, be on the back side of it. There'll be these little black clips. Go ahead and pop the tops of them off and there'll be a seven millimeter Allen head or Allen wrench key you'll need to remove that. Them two are your caliber bolts. In this video, I'm showing you that not every job goes like you want it. Not every job gets done and you get paid. Pistons get frozen. You have to order them. They don't come in until the next day. So you don't get paid that day and it pushes you behind. So now you're behind on two jobs. So I'm just showing you everything that goes along with being a mobile mechanic. All right, let's get back to this. So go ahead and remove that caliber bolt. Remember, we're using the seven millimeter Allen wrench. Go ahead and take the caliber pin all the way out. Go ahead and remove the caliber now. Set it up top. Remove that brake pad. The second brake pad, don't take it out. We can actually use our C-clamp here to push the piston back in for us. All right, now we can go ahead and pull this old pad out. This pops out. Go ahead and open this. We're gonna put some on the brake pads on each side. We're just lubricating it so it goes in easier. Also, so it doesn't squeal. Go ahead and slide it back in. Now these front brakes wasn't as bad. They had about 35% life left. So the rotors didn't get ruined on these ones. Now we're greasing this caliber pin up real good. Now we're putting it back in the caliber making sure they both go in nice and smooth. Now we're gonna grab our brake pad, the one that clamps in here. You just line it up. Best way to do is put your thumbs in the middle and push up. All right, so we've got our new pads on, putting our caliber back on. All right, go ahead and put them caliber pins back in. Just a nice, easy job. All right, let's tighten this up. Snug it down. Be careful not to strip it out. Go ahead and put them back on. It keeps the dirt out of them, keeps them from getting rusted. Now we got to put this clip back on. There's a little trick to it. You just put it on from the bottom. Take your screwdriver underneath here. You're going to pry it so it's on the other side at the top, just like that. And that's all you do. A lot of people struggle with that. Well, that's it. Let's just throw that tire back on. All right, now we're moving to the back. Go ahead and jack it up because we're doing brakes and rotors on the back here, where that's what our intention was. All right, we got the tire off. It's almost the same as the front, but it's a smaller clip. Once again, we're using our flathead screwdriver and prying it out, but this one didn't fly off like that other one. All right, caliber bolts are the same. It's a seven millimeter Allen head. So it's exactly like the front almost. Go ahead and take them out. You can use a screwdriver to go ahead and pry the, the caliber pins out. Now that we're out, let's go ahead and take the dust cap off, pop them off. Remember we're using our seven millimeter once again. Use your screwdriver there. Go ahead and pull it all the way out, just like that. Now this piston's a little bit different. The piston that we're gonna push in there on this caliber. See, there's two holes in it right there. I'm showing the pads that are wore completely down. See, these ones had no life left. Yeah, you see them two indentions right there? 
This piston doesn't push in like normal. Usually you use the C-clamp, but you can't. You got to have a special tool like this. Now you take that tool and you set it on the piston and figure out which one of these indentions where they lock into each other. This is made for different makes and models. Then get you a wrench and you're going to tighten it, twisting it to the right and that should push it in. But ours is frozen, so it will not move. Because look at the difference in these brake pads. That's why we got to push this piston in so we can get the new pads in. But where it's frozen, look, the pads will not go in. So we have to replace the caliber. So that's why we're done with this job, headed to the next. Welcome back to Semperfy Mechanic. My name's Thomas. Today's vehicle, we have a 2004 Toyota Corolla. Just doing the front brakes and rotors. Take us about an hour, hour and 15 minutes and bounce out. And as you can see, as a mobile mechanic, a lot of my calls are doing brake pads or working on the suspension. So people that are getting into this business think it's a bunch of hard jobs. No, most of them are very easy. Like today we've had this brake job and the one before doing brakes and rotors. Now we ran into some complications and he has to get calibers. But still, with today, we made over $300 profit and we've only put in about four hours work. Now, as you can see, this is just another simple brake job. Most vehicles are the same, or basically the same. But at the end of the day, you're working for yourself, you're your own boss, and you're making pretty good money. So you can't beat that. Now back to this car. This is the regular caliper. You can see that it's the push kind. We use our C-clamp, and it goes in nice and easy. It's not frozen. It's working like it's supposed to. All right, now we're going to take these bolts off. Make sure you spray some PB blaster on them because these ones are really rusted and you can actually break them off and that makes for a lot harder job. Go ahead and take them out. Now this bottom one was on really tight. It took us a minute to get it loose, but we did. Go ahead and remove the caliber there or the bracket. Now the rotor was stuck on here. Well, let's get this stuck rotor off. You see that little hole? Grab your caliber bolt. Go ahead and put it in there, tighten it, get it hand tight. You can use an impact or a regular wrench. Go ahead and tighten this and it'll actually push the rotor right off. Just like magic. Couldn't get it off with a hammer hitting hard as you can, but you can get it just like that. There you go, it comes right off. All right, well with the new rotors, you wanna spray them with brake cleaner on both sides and wipe them down. Because if you don't, they'll end up getting rusted because they spray some stuff on them when they ship them. So you need to wipe that stuff off. Here's the difference in these brake pads as well. All right, we need to get the caliber pins out because we're going to wipe them off and re-grease them as well. They're very important. And actually, some of the people on YouTube here left some comments because on a couple of jobs, I did not re-grease them. And people called me out. So there you go. Look. Go ahead and put them back in. Go ahead and grease this one as well. Once you get it greased, put it back in. Push it all the way. Make sure it's moving freely. We're going to go ahead and put it on the end of the brake pads as well. Go and spray this off. Put some on that. We don't want the new brakes to squeal. We want everything to go on nice and easy. This is just a normal brake job. You can see how easy it goes. Just putting our rotor back on. Everything goes in the reverse order. I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for subscribing. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, tell me in the comments or give me some recommendation on some videos that you want to see. This one, I just wanted to show you guys how a real regular mobile mechanic day can go. And it can go messed up. But it's still worth it. You're your own boss. You can take time off when you need to. You can schedule a lot more jobs if you need money coming up. plenty of opportunity so I advise people to go ahead and jump in this business you don't need a lot to start I got some videos on it if you want to see how you start it but I recommend you come in here make you some money there's plenty to go around like today we made 
140 bucks right here just off this job total of 300 bucks today and like i said please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and like always simplify till next time